Okay, so just another little example of writing a, uh, an infinite sum using series or sigma notation. So here we've got the series 2 over 13 uh, minus 4 over 13 squared plus 8 over 13 cubed minus 16 uh, over 13 to the fourth, etc. So usually to me the first thing is to kind of, you know, spot the pattern and then uh, hopefully we can figure out a, a nice little formula from that. So one thing I notice immediately is it's alternating sign. It's positive, negative, positive, negative. So at some point in there, I'm going to need like a, um, you know, a negative 1 to some power. Uh, so I'm thinking like a negative 1 to the n. Let's don't put an equal sign. Or a negative 1 to the n plus 1. We'll need something like that at some point. And again, that will just simply make it alternate signs. Um, the n or the n plus 1 just to make it start positive or negative depending on our index. Okay, so I notice that, and then I think about kind of the numbers on top. You know, we've got 2 to the first. Well, 4, that's really just 2 to the second. Um, and then we've got 8, which is 2 to the third. And then we've got 16, which is 2 to the fourth. So, hey, I'm just seeing really powers of 2 on top. Again, we talked about the alternating signs. And then in the bottom, it's pretty clear we've got, you know, powers of, of, of 13. 13 to the 1st, 13 squared, 13 to the 13th, 13 to the 14th, etc. So to me now, um, it's starting to look like something where I can put in my, my uh, series notation. So let's see. So we've got a 2 to a power um, of n. If you want to, the alternating part, the negative 1, uh, instead of having negative 1 to the n, we can just make it negative negative 2 to the n, because again, as n alt, you know, increases, uh, the uh, sign will still al alternate between positive and negative. So perfectly valid to, instead of having this negative 1 term, just include it with the, uh, you know, the power of 2. And in the bottom, we also have 13. Well, you know, the, the, uh, the exponents are always the same. So again, this, the exponent to me is kind of what's changing. So that's where I put an n generically. And notice whatever the power is on the 2, the power of the 13 is exactly the same. So if you've got an n on top, we should have an n on the bottom as well. Let's see, we want this to start at an exponent of 1. So we'll just have, well, n equals 1 up to infinity. And I'm going to rewrite this one more time. So n equals 1 to infinity. I'm going to write this as just one big fraction, negative 2 over 13, all raised to the n power. And now we've kind of got a nice, uh, clean little formula to, uh, to go with our infinite series here.